Now, once again, regardless of whether you're opting in a paid or a free Instagram food business, you would need to have these four components. And right now we're at the fulfilling stage, the final stage of setting up your food business online. Now, what is order fulfillment? It is basically how your customers receive your product. Either they come and pick up their product or you deliver it to your customers. Now, why is it important for us to set this up right? It is because your reputation is built on good order fulfillment and your customer experience builds trust of your customers. And I always say this for you, the only reason why people are ordering from you is trust. If they don't trust you, they're not going to order from you. So trust is the only thing why people would be ordering from you. So that's the reason why we need to make sure we continually build trust with your customers. So then that way they will continually order from you again and again with confidence. And second of all, people like to buy from businesses that make the order process fast, convenient and simple, whether it's pickup or delivery, make it super easy and set the right expectation for your customers. And lastly, when you set this up right, and if you have clear expectation, it allows you to manage your time properly. And for some of you guys that have a nine to five, that have multiple different things going on at once and consider this as a part-time gig, this is even more crucial for you to set up right up front because this allows you to manage your time properly. If you fail to manage your time, then you fail to be able to run this business as well. That's the reason why this is a crucial lesson to help you manage your time as well. Now, how do you fulfill your orders? There are pickups, which should be completely free for your customers. Make sure that you contact your customers through either direct message or text message or emails. Tell them exactly that when their orders are ready. Also schedule a time to meet at your pickup location. A key, key, key point right here is to be super strict with the time that works for you. When you set this time up, let's say four to 6 p.m. on Wednesday and Thursday, then make sure those times are, are, are strict and that you are there at all times. You don't wanna be too flexible because if you're too flexible, it will end up wasting a lot of your time. And if you don't set a proper time that or a proper window, that people can pick up from you and you just be like, hey, you know what, just come on Wednesday and Thursday, then people would be dropping off, dropping by at 7 p.m., 8 p.m., expecting you to be there. And if you're not there, they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be like, yo, what the hell? Why, am I, my, why is my order not ready? Why are you not at home? Why am I not getting this? At the end of the day, this is all about setting the right expectation and it is your business, how you run it, it's up to you. So you can set the timelines as much and as flexible as you want, but nonetheless, setting up a strict timeline works best. And that's really coming from someone who's done this for a long time, okay? Now, when we're talking about delivery, we talked about the two types of fulfillment process, whether someone is going to your place to pick up or delivery, right? So when it comes to delivery, there are also two ways for delivery. First up, you can deliver it yourself. You can drive to the location and deliver the goods, or you can actually hire a third party to deliver the goods for you. The pros and cons of this is that for staffing wise, if you're personally delivering it, you need your own staff, whether it's you or you hire someone to deliver for you, you need to act or your friends or your family to deliver, you need to do that. But if you are hiring a third party delivery, you don't need your own time. You don't need an additional staff to do that because you're hiring people to do that. Now, like I was saying, the cost of your personal delivering, it would be much more lower than if you were to hire a third party um, delivery um, people that deliver the goods for you. The convenience is not that convenient if you were to deliver uh, high volumes because that's a lot of driving that you need to do. But if you're just starting out, I really don't see why you can't personally deliver, but I'm just showing you what are the different options out there. It is much more convenient if you have a lot of high volume to have third party handle the delivery process for you. Exposure. If you're if you're partnering up with third uh, party deliveries, most likely you're going to be able to get exposed on their network and on their platform. So that would increase your uh, visibility for your operations as well. And thus you may get more business if you're uh, signing up with third party delivery. Now, let's dive into this a little bit more. 
fixed delivery rates can be set on your Google order form. If you're opting in the freeway, you can actually set how much you are charging the people for delivery. And you can also set different delivery prices and options on Shopify as well. If you're opting in the paid way of setting up your Instagram food business, if also the prices of delivery can be charged uh, via the minimum order of a mix X amount, or it varies on delivery location, whether it's the time and distance things. For example, as you can see here, depending on which location it is, the delivery charges changes from either $5, $7 or $9 during these different locations. You can see it right here because the longer and the further it is, just the more time and distance required and more cost is involved for your customers. Now, a pro tip for you when you're doing the delivery is that we need to really be mindful of contactless delivery. Now, ensure that we drop the, off the items in a safe zone so then that way people don't steal your goods. Because if you leave the product at the door at the front and if someone comes and steals it, then that's a really bad experience for your customers. Your customers think and make judgment whether you have uh, delivered the goods or not. And that's the reason why I would highly recommend you to take a, take a picture, send it to your customers, put it on the side or whatever the case that is out of sight from people who are walking by that neighborhood. Next up, the wow experience. This is something that is super, super crucial that a lot of people have oversights on, um, on. Because for example, if you are delivering a frozen items, you can use a cooler bag to make sure that the products are fresh and also it's gonna be cold. Also leaving a simple note, letting your customers know to put it in the freezer if they're not eating it right away, that allows them to feel that, wow, this business has a lot of attention to detail and it just creates that wow experience. And that's the reason why you, and that's the reason how you as a business can stand and, and be differentiating yourself through this wow experience. And the next tip is that you can actually streamline your delivery with apps such as Routific. Okay. I'm going to include the link in the resources below. So then that way you can actually plan out the route because a lot of people have been messaging us and asking us about, Hey, you know what? I have 10 deliveries. Which is the most efficient way? Who do I go to first? Well, if you put, put in all the different addresses in this app called Routific, then they're going to be able to actually help you calculate what is the best route to do so um, and what is the most efficient way to do so. Definitely go download this app and use it. It is completely free for you to use. Next up, let's say, for example, you don't want to do your own delivery. You're hiring someone else to do the delivery for you. Then Courier have different, um, different places. So for even for these food delivery apps, they will help you deliver your goods. Uh, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, they have a new feature called Uber Connect for sending packages. And that's something that you can sign up for as well. Definitely just check out the apps that are relevant in your city. And a lot of them already have these courier options to send packages. Price for using these third, third party apps can vary different, um, Therefore, by different platforms, the common fees would include an activation fee, a marketplace fee, and a marketing fee, delivery fee, processing fee. And as you can see, that's a lot of fees that would be included if you're sending out your packages to them. So if you don't have enough margins on your product, then I would highly recommend you to not opt into something like this. But nonetheless, I'm just giving it to you as an option. If you have a lot of margins that you can play around with, then definitely this becomes a great choice because it saves a lot of your headache. Now, a pro tip is that once again, free delivery is always better from the customer perspective as well. You can also build in the delivery costs into your price to include your product with free delivery. And once again, if you have enough margins into your product, then you can afford to have and give them your customers free delivery. For example, if you're charging $45 for your product and it only costs you $10 to make this, there's $35 margins for you to play around with. So you can actually include delivery fees that is completely free for your customers because you're making so much money off this one sale. Now it is your turn. Choose the right fulfillment method for your food business. And if you're interested in third party apps, check out Grubhub's profit calculator. So then that way you can figure out, Hey, how much are you going to be able to make and how much are your costs? And once again, the resources is in the link below, go download it 
and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.